Hello. Welcome to the stream. That's right, we're, uh, we're live again for this one. So recently, I did a, I think it came out to about 40 minutes, pre-recorded video giving our most recent Minecraft world a once-over. Because it continued to change quite a bit after the last time that we streamed it, so I wanted to give an overview of the final state it was in. And I realized, you know, I bet I still have some of our old Minecraft worlds. And I recall that the other one we did also changed quite a bit after the final stream we did in it. So, I actually pulled, I pulled out my old laptops from the past several, the past decade, and I pulled all of the Minecraft worlds that I could get off of them, just to see how far back I could go. So, basically, I wanna do kind of like a, a time capsule thing where I go back and take a look at the previous Minecraft worlds. And I'll probably, probably fit them all into one highlight video, because I got nothing else to really do with the one that already exists. This is our uh, most recent one, the Fourth Lands. Hello, Darian. How are, uh, how are audio levels? The game a bit quieter than last time? I've loaded them, so they shouldn't take too long to uh, get into. Uh, the 2020 world, we only did one stream in this one. And I don't, I don't think it uh, changed at all. No one really continued playing on it after the stream. So, it's the same as it ever was. Jack's got his monument somewhere. There's the village with the roller coasters. I just wanted to show that it was still here. It hadn't burned down. There was no apocalypse or anything. Where's the roller coaster? There it is. Oh, so they're still riding it. They love it. There they are. Alright, well, good to see everything is still in order there. They really got to save the world. Let's take a look at the previous world from when we did the uh, the getting shafted in Minecraft highlights video. This was that one. And this was the previous time that we had people actively playing on the server for a while. We did, I think, th three or four streams in this version. I think I got a lava disposal behind here. Yeah, I do. I could have jumped into that. Well, rip skull painting. Do I have more? I do. I have them behind every painting. Uh. So I guess this is what uh, the Citadel ended up looking like. This was the one that I had the uh, the great effort to bring a staircase up here to get the animals onto the roof. Is there anything up here? I don't think the ladder even goes up here. Does it? Yeah, it does. It's just a pointless little lookout area. There's the village. The village has changed a lot since the stream we did of it. I see what I assume is probably Charles's influence. I have to go take a closer look at that. This was uh, pre-Darian. Because I know you had... Uh, you had Bedrock version, but you didn't have the ability to play Java with us at this time. I had a somewhat similar shaft. 
It's just such, it's so convenient. The bubble shafts for travel. I'm gonna create them so I can fly around a little bit. Lava Mountain, still intact. I think that was that way. When we finished our stream of it. The roads are new. I had not built the roads. I don't think the pen was quite this expansive. The final stream we did, did of this, I finished by getting the animals up to the farm, and I stamped out the previous farm down here. So there's, there's going to be a lot new to look around in this world. I, I don't remember if I planned on doing a final revisit stream to this. Maybe I just never got around to it. Go over to Jack's walled city. I don't know what this is. Who built this? Illagers? I don't think this is a naturally spawned structure. Unless it would have generated with... Uh... No, they don't generate new things like this. When I load an old world. Someone must have built this, and I just have no idea who. All right. Well, someone built a little house just outside the, uh, the walled city. There was, uh, I think what this was, was that, I'll, I'll look into this later. This is the mines. There's a, a big mine system I built under everything. But I built a path that would take cobblestone out here, and it would automatically drop it in these chests. But uh, I think Jack did make full use of the cobblestone. I think he. I think he got his. Uh, he got his supply. Who is this? This was Sayers. Council of Chrome. I don't think this has changed since it was uh, last seen. Jack's house. Also not really touched much. He, really, he spent most of his time on the wall. The dong. Now with a path of fire in front of it. Leading to the uh, minecart station. Someone left the doors open on DK. I guess he had a mine down here? Obviously Wickersham's house. Oh, this was Gleams. That's right, he had a little, uh... I don't think it ever, we ever got to show it during the streams. He had a little sand structure out here. That got blown up by creepers. And so, in an effort to future-proof his house, he decided to build one out of wool. I believe it burned down at least once, so this is probably the third iteration of Gleams' house. Many, many wolves. I think the only reason that he made it out of wool was because he had just so much of it. I don't know why he would have so much wool. It's a mystery. You have any ideas? I think this is built over like a... Yeah, this is built over a chasm. Not nearly as impressive as, you know, after the caves update, but... You had a nice, tr nice tree in here. A little cave farm. I'm gonna be honest, Gleam's house is a weird build. Then we had a bacon bomb and Rafui with us for a time. Speaking of time. Oh, really? I don't... Okay. Well, I can fix that. There we go. You know what? I've never done that. I've never really taken advantage of the uh, bed technique in the nether. 
I know it's effective. I just never got around to it. That's right, they had a little, they had like a boat system. I don't remember where it went out to. Just more of their area, I guess. Yeah, they just had, just had another little smaller house out here. Through a random boat tunnel. I think this is where I connected the uh, the, the minecart path to. What is this? Who built a tower? Okay. I guess it's just a lookout. What is this? Nothing. Gleam's closet. Oh, okay. It's empty. A lot of desert. Our spawn was right next to a desert in this one. We all kind of built around it. The spawn area was right there in the village. Oh, I should... Uh... Man, flying feels slow in the desert. There's one more thing I forgot to revisit. It's uh, Sandy's place. Way on the opposite side of the village. I, had a, I guess I hadn't finished the roads on this part. He just got a wooden path. Going out to... Wait, what is this? You got buttons? No? I'm coming in. Suspicious. Maybe he was expanding. He just, he built a little tunnel out to... Oh. I'm sorry, this is Han Sandy's old house. It's been abandoned. Where's his... I wonder where he moved to. Maybe he didn't like living near the rest of us. Maybe that's why he built his house way out in the snow in the most recent world. The nether will probably take a little while to load. Actually... I don't think we ended up doing a whole lot in the nether. I think... I thought that we had, but when I entered it... It was like, it was very natural. So I don't know if maybe it didn't save our nether correctly? Or uh, what the case is. I thought we did more, more in it than nothing, but uh, I don't remember for sure. It's been too long. This house is so easy to get lost in. Professional Minecraft builders screaming at the lack of consistency. Things just being built into mountains. One-way doors with no way back in. He just, he, Sandy is that guy. He just built it in the side of a mountain. I saw something in the sky. Is this where he moved to? Is this, is this the new Sandy place? Did he, he built like a, like a nether portal up here?
So there was no way to get to it from the ground. One way. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Well, that's strange. I wish I had like a super speed flight. That'd be nice. I'm glad I didn't do this style of road again. It doesn't look great. I think this was all in survival mode, though. I don't think we went up. Uh, well, we went creative while building any of this. This is my genius mechanism to uh, keep the villagers inside the village. You just you you gotta jump over bushes every time you enter. Because uh, this was right after the illagers were added to the game, and boy, it could be a, it could be a pain to man to keep villagers alive. I think we might have had to repopulate this village because they got wiped out at least once. Why is someone living in a tower? I built a tower for one villager. I wonder why. I did not build the the, the communist sim symbol. That was uh that was Charles. I guess he uh he decided to make some changes to our vi our communal village in my absence. Otherwise, it is uh, pretty much as I made it. Oh, it was because I had some villagers living in uh, in houses that were like based on ours, like that little tower was the, equi the equivalent of my house. This was the uh, there's a gleam villager. Living in a wool gleam house. There's a villager living on a on a deck, like Trog. Otherwise fairly normal villager house designs. I think the village spawned here. Like this is not all custom made. It's just uh I, we built additional houses to uh, expand the village. Town hall. No citizens allowed. Oh. We must have had more of a nether going on. Because there's a, there's a nether portal here. Uh, inventory. Where's inventory? No. Uh... I don't remember my keyboard controls. There it is. I, I want to light this and see where it goes. I think the nether didn't save. I think it was corrupted in some way down the line. Now, where's this going to take me? It's going to take me to my portal. Okay. Which means now we have to what, fly back to the village. I got to do this at least once. Yeah. We're pretty spread out in this uh, this server.
which just meant it took a lot more resources to make a road connecting everyone. Trog's house. Appeared a few times in the previous streams. He was uh, an early player in the server. I don't think it was quite this ornate the last time it appeared. I don't think it was finished previously. Oh, he's got a little cat upstairs. Last time it was pretty much just a deck. He ended up with like a full kind of temple thing going on. Oh, I probably should have looked at the world map. Pretty sure I had one at my house. down here before. Okay, yeah, I remember. We definitely had stuff going on in the nether. Because he had this big old portal that went to, like, a bridge in a nether wart farm. Well, rip this world's nether. I think there's one more house. There was a uh, Lunar Panda built way out here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, there were a couple. There was Panda had like a, a wooden structure on stilts out here. Deleted that. I think he stopped playing on the server. And uh, after everyone else kind of stopped playing, Charles moved in. And he was kind of the only one playing on the server for a while. He, I, I would drop in sometimes, but uh, he made this entire peninsula his own. And he really put the effort in, obviously. He had his own little village he was starting. Does he have villagers? Or is this just empty? I don't think he got villagers yet. Oh, he's got a church. I've never really uh, come over and looked at all of this. Sure is a tower. Yes, sir. I built a couple of castles in Minecraft before. This is like a someone. A, this is one built by someone who knows how to make a castle, though. Is there an interior? Oh, the interior just goes up. This looks safe. This is a safe way to, uh, climb a castle. Oh, there's more. It goes out into, like, spires in the water? Well, a spire, singular. Crusty old ruined spire. The amount of time this must have taken him. 
just for the... Is this just a big structure of pure cobblestone? It is. It's entirely... Well, no, there's something on in on the inside. This feels like it's going to be a waste of time. Whatever's down here is going to be disappointing. Seems to be nothing down here. Disappointing. Part of me wishes I had him on voice so that uh, I could just know the logic of all of these bizarre structures, but uh, I'm sure he will be happy to tell us in the comments. There's a little, what is this, a marble tower? Or andesite granite? He likes towers. And at the top, you'll find the Eye of Sauron. Nope, just lava. Alright, well, this is the first time I've seen most of this. I saw the castle in various states of construction while he was playing, but, uh... He managed a lot. What is this? I guess this was going to be a new building. Going down to just a cave. Okay, just in any arbitrary old cave. Well, before I leave, I do want to check out the uh, I want to check out the mine shaft, the mine cart system, which, if I remember correctly, I think there was one other. I think there was one or two other people who built houses way out there, way away from everyone else. I think that that might have been where Sandy moved to. I think Sandy got sick of all of us and decided to have a house just way out in the boonies where we would not have access to him. Which, of course, was immediately followed by me building a mine track out to his house in the boonies. Oh, I forgot. I gotta show off the... Uh... So we ran out of space up here for villagers. We couldn't have them. We had too many villagers to have, like, a nice house for all of them. So we expanded into the, uh, the ravine a little bit. Yeah, Darian likes to make those jokes about the, uh, the villager camps. This is, this is, this is it. Oh. The, the, this room in particular is home to the official Minister of Caves. He has more rank than any other villager living down here, slightly. And he even gets a door into a cave in his apartment. I don't think it's a special cave in any way, it's just a cave. It is closed off, though. They can't, uh, this is still, like, a part of the village. And they can't wander off anywhere unsafe from down here. Oh, there, there's, uh, there's somebody. Hey! Curse of Binding. That's eh, all crap. Whoop! But did the, the, the villager voices change? They got more gravelly. They're like, ha now. Maybe villagers can have different voices. Maybe I just missed that. Where are they? We didn't even come close to filling all of these up. Ah. 
I guess it's just that one. Alright. turn music off because uh, I'm experimenting with uh, because there's no music most of the time in this game I am considering adding music to the highlights for Minecraft what was that middle part I forget about a floor oh it's the squid farm why did I have a squid farm well, I've, I've to farm squids, obviously. I remember, I remember spending a long time on this. I think the water's all cascading, so squids will spawn here, and it's just supposed to... It's supposed to eventually send them down. Where they'll suffocate. I don't know why my viewing seat is all the way back here. There must have been some... Some spawn mechanism reason for that. That I'm forgetting about. Oh, because... Okay. You know why I needed a squid farm? Was because... Uh, oh, hello, squid. Is this where you go? Aren't you supposed to be suffocating? No? You feeling fine? There he goes. I thought he was just going to be okay for a second. And end up, end up with a lot of fish. I guess bone meal for some reason, too. Uh, the reason I needed a squid farm so badly was because of the road. I needed all that black. I needed black dye. So that I could paint the uh I could I could paint the tar black. Alright, here we go. Here's the mine system. Oh, I had a slime room too. Here we go. Here's the slime room. Nice and slimy. Doesn't look very nice, but it was functional. I even have a, a viewing section for the slime room. So that I can see if there's slime in there. This was back when uh, strip mining was actually effective. Rest in peace, strip mining. Where does this go? Oh, this was I was I think I was experimenting with shafts. You know, as as you as one does when they're young. I had little boat tunnels I forgot I built. No real reason for them, especially with the mines existing, but yeah, I had a river through the desert just for something to build, and because Bacon and Rafe, we used boats. Does that go all the way to the village? Or does it just end at my house? goes down to the squid farm. There it goes. There's a live one. I guess it just meanders this way out to sea.
Oh, I had a moat with uh, with magma blocks. So that would suck down monsters and kill them. Uh-oh. There we go. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. There's a lot of stuff that I remembered building. I was always looking for projects for just things to build at this point. No reason for that bubble shaft, because I, it's faster to just fall down this shaft here. Again, just something to build. This! Oh, I remember this system. This was this was some programming. Redstone programming. Cobblestone transport. This is the track that goes to... Uh, this is the track that goes to Jack's... Away with you. Thrilling, I know. So this is the track that goes out to the... Uh Goes out to Jack's cobblestone wall. And there it goes back. It's not much, but when you pull off something like automated with redstone, it, it it's it's pretty it's feels cool. I felt like such a scientist when I made this. What is this? I think this is just... Yeah, this is just my mine. It uh, connects all along this tunnel. What is this? Oh, this is just my monster room. What do you know? It's full of monsters. Still very effective. Alright. Let's mess around with this shit. Let's see, I need a minecart. There we go. Probably should have added like a chest of those around here somewhere. Something. I guess I didn't. Oh, I had like I had like a whole system. Uh nibs. There was uh, someone who like role played as Nibs from Awesome Knots, who they were, uh, they were on the server. They built a, they built their place way out. I can't tell if it's changing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it changing it. So I'm, I'm confusing myself. Okay. So if it's down, then I would go for this one. Up, I would go to... Uh, let's go to pandas and trogs. Away we go. This is probably common knowledge for uh, Minecraft minecart track makers. It was definitely common knowledge for them. But uh, if you have a redstone signal underneath a curved mine track, it changes the direction of the track. So you can use that to uh, make systems like that that go to different places with redstone switches. And I 
think this is under what was Panda's like wooden structure that was since destroyed. So this is kind of a pointless stop now. I guess it's all pointless now considering no one uses this world, but uh Let's continue along the track to Trogs then. Did I have it set right? I think we're going back to my place. Oh, well I guess this is the last place I was. Yeah, I remember this little underground area. This is, uh, this is Trogs. There we go. And we're back here again. He had a Wither Skull ready. Where's this going? Okay. Gotta position ourselves right. Just take that. I thought this was so cool when I made it, and it took a lot of time to make. You just, you can't really appreciate it. Since you can't see, like, I wish, I wish you could see it on a map. Like an overworld map where we're going on the minecart underground. That would be cool. But this does run to all of the locations that we just uh, were at. So now it's going to Bacon's house. Eventually. Yes, sir, making that climb. Here we are. What's next? Oh, this one doesn't have a, uh, this one doesn't have a switch. You just go the direction that you want to go. Oh, is that how I did this? You just fucking plummet. It is faster than riding a cart down. So now this goes all the way up to the spawn village. There's Jack's wall. There's Dong. You can't really see him from here, but... There's Dong. It it didn't he look nice. You can't really see the signs from your position sitting in the minecart. All right, and then this goes back to the citadel. Again, just falling. Cuz whatever, it's faster. existed when we did the uh, the, street, the last stream in this world. It was all pre-mine mine track. I 
It's pre-road, pre-boat path. I spent a lot of time. I, I like infrastructure. I like to make ways to get to places. And here we are back at my place. My, my place being like the central hub. Okay, so we've been to the village. That's where we just came from. Let, let's go out to the, our final stop is uh, Nibs' house. There we go. Which is way off apart from everything else. There was a path to it in the nether. I wonder what happened to the nether of this world. I think when I got the file, it had... Uh, no, it wasn't this one. It was a, it was a, a previous world. It had different folders for the overworld, the nether, and the end. And I don't remember when they stopped doing that in versions. But you know what? I think that was a thing with uh, bucket servers. Had different folders for those. Because some of these were bucket servers and some of them were on uh, just the vanilla server client. Or single player even. There's illagers everywhere in this world now. So what is this? Is this Nibs' place? It's just a great... This is just a great big greenhouse. I don't think this is anyone's house. It's just a place to grow trees. I don't know why I walked all the way around the outside. You know what else? I seem to recall Charles having some kind of, like, desert villager farm, or, like, a machine that farmed villagers. I don't know if, if that's in this world, or if I'm thinking of a different world completely. Oh, here we go. I found it. As if on cue. I don't think it was Charles. I think it was Nibs. It's an auto farm, is what this is. What, he's got ender... He's got chorus fruit growing. There's a little house out here. With a bed surrounded by chests. There's water... Where does this go? Anywhere? It's a lovely shaft. It's just a big glass platform. And then, uh, I guess the only way down... You can't go down a water shaft, can you? Even if you crouch? No. So the only way down again is... It's fine, there's a river. I swear he had a villager farm. He had them packed in like sardines somewhere. Is this it? Or I'm just thinking of a different place. I have no idea what this is. This is beyond me. This structure. Weird Minecraft mechanisms. Yeah, this is not the location of the villager farm. I miss our old nether. That went to places. I think that went out to the, the desert area where the villagers were... Uh...
I'm so it's a boat elevator. I remember these. It going down to a mine shaft that uh, has not been started. Does this still work? It does. And that's how a boat elevator works. I think this was the house. Yeah, this was Nibs' place. I had little, uh, I put flags everywhere so everyone would appear on the overworld map, too. I wish we still had the nether. I'm gonna double check, triple check, as if anything will have changed. It won't. One can dream. Oh, and we came back out at my pl at, Is this my place? Where is this? No, this is Sandy's. Why does everywhere lead to Sandy's? We were nowhere near here. I think. Is this Sandy's new house? No, this is the old one. How did we get back here again? What is wrong with this nether? Alright, well I know Sandy built a roller coaster, so uh, in honor of his construction efforts... Let's end this world by taking a ride on his roller coaster. Is that the sound illagers make? The gruff ones? I think, you, I think you ran out of material, Sandy. You might need a few more speed tracks. I think there was a time when you couldn't propel yourself on a minecart. I think the ability to hold forward and move was added later. Huh? I guess I must have, uh, I think he ended the track here. And I must have, like, incorporated it into the... I must have incorporated it in into the rail system. Yeah. All right. Oh, I said it's the walled village. We're going up this again. Alright, well, that's the final state of our uh, 2020 server. Which was the first one that we did a stream of. Here on this channel. However, I have one stating before that. Let's see, that was 20... I'm sorry, that was uh, 2019. 2020 was the one that we only did one stream in. Let's see, before that was Jacksville. Which, I believe, as the title suggests, was the one that we did almost all of our Jax videos in. This one was not one that other people ever really played on. This was mostly entirely... is is a super flat world that was made by myself in creative mode. Mostly just building things to, at the time, make videos on. I also seem to have had a uh, villager torture chamber. I forgot about this. There was a zombie villager in here. He would uh, try to get to the other ones, but be unable to. That was his torture. Oh, 
was all this? I had like a little history section? Ugh. Cringe. Young Zelrog cringe. I had like a little area for player new players to spawn in. As if anyone would ever Again, most a lot of my history with Minecraft is building worlds in creative mode with the expectation that uh, like eventually I would open them up to the public and people would want to come play in the worlds. It just never happened. Oh, I had warp stations? Yeah, I, I had a little uh I had little warp stations that went to the four corners of this world. I spent a lot of time on this too. Alright, well, let's look around the, uh, the spawn area. See if there's anything that is, uh, recognizable. I think, I think I unlisted the Jack's Grand Compendium. But it's still there on the channel, if you go into the, uh, into the playlists. I had, like, an apartment building. Not for villagers, just for, I guess, visitors. Just something to build, not something that's actually useful in any way. Oh, I had these little squares with information on each of the things. You know what? Alright, I'll click one of the information boxes. The information boxes do not work. Rest in peace, information boxes. Right, I had an overly complex trading station where you could, uh, you and one other person could put items on the on the gold pressure plates, and then you would stand on these treasure plates. It was a way to it was a way to trade items safely. Nondescript fast food building. Sorry, mushrooms, that's what it is. Wherein you can get food from a mushroom, because there's two types of food you can get from a mushroom. It's even got a drive through window. There's the farms. Which may or may not have been uh, shamelessly ripped off of Achievement Hunter's giant animals. It's snowy on top. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. I know we did a video in this. It is the most impractical place to have a farm. And yet, I had the entirety of this world's farm inside a giant cow. And the only reason that you enter through the butthole is because it's cool redstone technology. What is this? I think I had, like, cats and dogs up here. Everything despawns. It's been so long since this was the active server that all of the behaviors of the game have changed. There wasn't even bamboo when this was made. There's a lot of stuff missing. Bleh. What is this? I had a stadium for... I think it was basketball? Yeah, you could, like, throw items up into the basket to score points. Actually... Hold on. I believe... I 
don't think it's going to work anymore, but I believe this is an all-purpose stadium. I think you could change it with the press of a button. Sorry, I had to turn my heater off. Yeah, you could play, uh, you could play soccer. Well, creeper soccer, again, achievement hunter. With any of these three, or I guess maybe that other side is for basketball? Let's try to set it to soccer. Let's, I don't think this will work. Oh, it did work. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I had, I had the HUD hidden. That's why we didn't see any of the messages or anything. Now everything still works. It uh, it just deleted the basketball layer, basically, exposing the uh, obsidian and bedrock stadium beneath. Immune to creeper explosions. Playing with a blaze or a gas sounds like a terrible idea. I don't know why I included those. I don't think the creeper spawning is working. Oh well. And I'm pretty sure once these uh, these were detonated. Let me see if I can check. I'm pretty sure once they were detonated, they are set to uh, automatically restock. Creeper blows up. Goal. Yep. Like a scientist. I was so proud. It's fun to do cool stuff in creative mode. It's just a shame no one ever actually, like, these never went to use for anything. Set it back to basketball. Oh, no. It actually doesn't work. I think the way that uh, wood blocks were structured has changed. It used to be that this type of wood was like, uh... It was still, it was wood planks with like a data value attached to it. And now it's treated as a totally separate block. So, uh, the floor is missing. Oh well. I guess basketball is not happening. What was this? Dot? What's dot? Oh, Department of Transportation. What? Where does this go? I don't remember my own mechanisms. It's a teleporter. I guess it's just a, a way to get to the... It's just a way to get to the outer uh, extremes of the central area faster. There were all these plots that were going to be used to build stuff. I was so ambitious. I had a little demo house. There's Good Mart. I remember making, I spent a lot of time on Good Mart. Give me a cookie. Did I get a cookie? I, I did in my uh, in my survival inventory. Again, didn't show because the HUD is hidden. It's just a bunch of command blocks. You can trade redstone for items.
There's like a shopping mall center area. I don't remember what's down there. I'm not going to worry about it. Do not enter. Okay. Elevator. Escalator. So proud. Such redstone. Much wow. I think this would have been a convenient server to play survival on. If anything, perhaps too convenient. Redstone would be so valuable. Escalator down. Oh, well, we know what that's going to do. That's just going to push us down. Elevator. I have bathrooms that went into a needlessly complex sewer system. I like to build things that run under the entirety of a world. I realize that. that that's one thing that's consistent. This, this world had a sewer system. The other world had a minecart system. Substantially easier with uh, creative mode. There's no way all this iron was going to happen in survival. Okay, that's lava because it goes out to my portion of the world. And the other thing that was built out here is the Colosseum. With a, a couple skeleton horses wandering around. Those aren't those aren't mine. They're wild. I like to use command blocks. This was a little area where you could uh, just summon the various uh, enemies in the game. Again, would have been useful for like. EXP farming. And I'm pretty sure... In addition to the tunnels and everything leading to the stands, there's like a, a little bit extra somewhere. Where does this go? This just goes back down to the one of the entrances. That's up to the stands. There we go. We get access to the sponsor seating. You even get to see the giant cow in the background. Now you get to lord over everyone, but it's not really not really the best view of things. To be honest, the Julius Caesar seat is kind of in the nosebleed section. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Perfect seat. Wonderful. Excellent. I think there was one more thing. One more hidden part of this, even. I'm trying to remember how to get to it, though.
Oh, there's the exit. No entry. You know what I think it might be? No? Maybe it's not dark enough. There we go. There's a secret under underground nighttime arena. Where you can spawn the really dangerous opponents. Charge Creeper, I think there's a Gas Summer. Yeah. Doesn't appear to work anymore, but, uh... Wait. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, no, that's not it. These are Shulkers. Oh! Did enemy values change? I guess attempting to summon ghasts now summons these guys. Which were not in the game at the time of this construction. Because creepers and other things like that would uh, destroy the above construction. So I had a, like a little... A little extra secret area. Where you could fight the uh, destructive enemies without them destroying things. I thought it was cool. I still think it's kind of cool. Again, just a shame no one ever, you know, saw it. Until now. Come on. Boy, this, uh, this world is prone to monsters. You don't have it lit effectively. How does this go? That goes down to the sewers. I think I'm not going to take the mine tracks. I think I'm going to take the warp station. I think that'll be faster. Hello, creeper. You having fun up here? What is this? I had way under the roof? Oh. Those are for if the uh, villagers despawned. Where's the workstation? It's on the inside. hasn't loaded this part of the world yet. It's going to take a minute. What is this? Oh, it's my it's my map. It's my giga map of just my area. As opposed to the entirety of the world. So I did a thing where I uh, I set four spawn points way out a set distance. I think it was like a thousand blocks from uh, the spawn. Fifteen hundred or so. One of each for uh, my friends at the time. One of which was Jack. He built some stuff in his area. The other two uh, never actually played on the server, so... Those areas were kind of wasted. 
I had a minecart racetrack, which seems like a kind of bizarre idea given that there are minecarts. I must have had something that made it, like, competitive in some way. Really what this amounts to is I wanted to have my own Minecraft, like, Let's Play channel. But I didn't have anyone to do it with. I think I had a whole, there's like a whole section underneath this. Just for track maintenance. Yeah, this whole underside of the track is walkable. What is this? I had bleachers. I had I had uh, horse stables for a horse track, lawn lawn ranch style. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just like a practice area, I guess. This is the this is the actual horse track. Which, if if it weren't obvious, these are buttons to uh, start the things. I had a whole horse track with like different routes to take. Same with the boat course. I just built a bunch of race tracks out here. That was a fun project for a little while. Oh, you could uh, you could have bow and arrows, and you could shoot the buttons to activate shortcuts. Was the idea? Very briefly, you have you have to be precise. Would have been cool to do some let's plays with people on things like this. This never happened. And then once again, I had my Citadel. It's, it's kind of been my default for uh, places to live for a little while. Boy, faster flying would be nice. Lava sewers. Brutal. I'm going to show you a secret. You ready? You get some sand. You crouch. Top secret. You don't want just anyone getting in. I had like a, there's like a little, a, a pressure plate or a trip fire switch. I don't remember what the activating mechanism was. But I had that idea for like a PvP kind of server. Where you'd have to drop a block in, in order to open the door to a, to a base. There's my ender friend. He watches the place. Steve. Steve the underfriend. The Frenderman. Steve and Carl. I guess I had two of them. I don't know if this is bigger or smaller than my previous... The, the, or rather, my more recent Citadel. But uh, it has Donkey Kong. So, you know, that's kind of neat. And end portal because creative mode, I can do that. I don't think the nether works. Wait, no, it does. I think this nether, this nether transferred correctly. I don't know why the other one didn't. I'll go back in there later. I want to take care of the rest of the uh, overworld first. An indoor farm with lava dripping on it. I had a 
prison cell, because why not? It's kind of hard to fill up this much space creatively, gonna be honest. This, this is not OSHA. I had a pool of lava. Boy, I had a lot of lava. More lava than any one person could ever need. Looks neat, though. I, had my, I even had my symbol down there. Now, this is the world that I mentioned a lot of the uh, Jack stuff was built in. Which I'm pretty sure, if I fly out this way a ways, we'll see some of. Again, fast flight would be glorious. This was a this was a Jack's video. This was King of the Hill. Again, a game to be played with multiple people that never served its purpose. You'd spawn up here, just try to knock each other into lava. Very simple. We saw a uh, squid spawn in the lava right over here. Still, I've still never seen that happen again after that. There's also an indoor spawn. You could spawn up here, try to knock people in the hole. This probably would have lasted a while if you tried to play this, trying to get people into that hole. That would have been a long game. So how are you? You having a good uh, pre-Mother's Day? Be sure to call your moms, everyone. Hello, Charles. Uh, so I'm going back and looking over previous Minecraft servers. I did a little walk around of the uh, 2019 one before this that had your, your base and everything in it. You sure like building spires of things. You had, you had many towers. You also took over my village in the name of communism. I don't appreciate that. I want you to know. I built this castle way out in the corner, as if I would ever use all of this space. I really was trying to future-proof, is what I was doing. In fact, I even took, I made this creative, this uh, super flat mode, and I copied the chunks after it was all built, and I dropped it in a non-super flat world. So that uh, people who joined and wanted to play a just, you know, normal survival mode could go out past the borders and just do that. I had such big plans. I'm pretty sure I opened this world to the public very briefly, but I didn't fully understand uh, world protect, like block protection and setting up the, that those kind of systems on... Uh, on bucket servers, so it got trashed pretty much immediately, and I took it offline again.
this was my most grandiose project. And I think we did a Jax video in it. Of, uh, it was like a, a full maze-like castle dungeon. It was like a, like a, a raid the castle kind of thing. Where one player would be positioned in the, uh, like the king role. And would have to guard the tower, the castle, using mechanisms to prevent the party from getting in on the outside and, uh, you know, killing him. I haven't thought about submitting it to the uh, the Let's Play guys, but uh, it was kind of past that point by the time I built it. They'd already blown up to a degree that uh, they, they, they didn't need any maps from me. Where's the entrance I'm looking for? Yeah, it's the secret dungeon switch. That would have granted you access to the front door. Again, I spent a lot of time on this, only for it to not really matter in the end. But it was fun at the time. I had it full of, like, traps. Like this. What is this gonna do? Something fun. Oh, this is the lava trap room. I see. I get the picture. Oh no, I'm dying. Etc. Etc. Probably get out of here. How, how get block? Uh, God, I don't remember my keys. Whatever, it's fine. We're not. We're never coming back here anyway. So there's all sorts of traps like that throughout the tower, or throughout the castle. This is the uh, the most elaborate castle-like structure I think I've ever built. So, if you want your point of comparison with Charles Castle, this is it. I think it had three or four floors. Full of monsters, intentionally not lit. It could have been a cool game with multiple people. Little dungeon rooms. Uh, did I just... I just trapped myself. And all of the toilets would take you back out into the sewer system. We didn't even get to the top floor. Oh, I think there was a... You had to, like, find your way to a, a hidden area behind the throne. It's all very elaborate to get to the uh, the second floor. You could find little hidden passages to areas with special tools and things. It's been long enough that I do not at all remember the actual paths, so uh, I'm not going to go enter the hallways and get lost again. I would like to get into the throne room, at least. Is the top area the end goal? I believe... Oh, this is the way to... This is the way to quickly get up and down. This is like the bunker underneath, where you can c control all of the traps. Hidden under the throne. So the king player would just hide out in here, activate the traps, 
as needed, reset the traps here. I can fix the I can fix the lava trap that I set off. There, good as new. And then uh, when things got shaky, I guess he would have to have flight activated in order to uh, use that to get back up to the flee to the top of the tower. I'm going to break some stuff to uh, just get access to the throne room. So I was too dumb to find it the normal way. Oh, it was just right at right at the entrance. I could have just walked up the stairs. All right. Well, chalk that up to another one of those uh, would have been cool things. I'll take a quick look at the uh, other areas. Uh, I gotta remember which way is which, though. Let's see. Uh, you guys probably want to see Jack's stuff. Where is it? The Anderson Ocean. Here we go. Just give it a second to load again. This was easily our physically biggest world. Just because, again, I attempted so much to future-proof by just making it massive. Here we are. The Anderson Ocean. Can you tell it's Jax? I'm pretty sure Kenpachi appeared in the Jax videos. In fact, I think our ver our first Jax build, as we called them, was uh, this pirate ship. It was Jax pirate ship. There's not a hugely ornate structure. I had some cabins. Had a little. Escape boat. Nether portal. Rowing stations. And my personal favorite. A cannon. You gotta have a cannon on a pirate ship. Uh, what else was there? Is there a quick way to... I thought I had like a little cheaty button to teleport. Maybe I, maybe I removed it. I think I removed my cheaty teleport button. Darn. Alright, we're flying. What is that? Why is there just a patch of dirt out here? Well, that's needlessly ugly. Alright, I don't know why that happened. Oh, away we go. You know what? I can make this a little bit shorter. What direction is this? Let's try... Negative 1500. I don't know how far it is, actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was spot on. Awesome. This was also a video. This was, uh... Jack's... Hideous mansion. This was all his doing. Ex except the poop pipe. That was, that's just where the sewage ends up. Right outside Jack's house. Don't worry about it. I installed a, a, a security pin for him. I don't remember what the number is, but it's okay. The door's unlocked. Uh, yeah, J Jack built all this. This was his 
his construct, his house. Includes a giant fuck-off hot tub. I think I know what movie he had recently watched at the time of this construction. I can, I can make a guess. The bed was a gift from me. I, I gave him the giant bed. I thought he'd appreciate that. I really need an infinite day machine. This world could use that. Uh, let's see. He had a he had a greenhouse that he built. I think it's a greenhouse. He never planted anything in it, but uh, that appears to be what the structure was intended to be. He built some manner of stone submarine. It would appear. Something must have been going on at the time. Joined a Discord call and now my YouTube audio is bugged. Well, that's strange. You could try watching on Twitch. Hello. Jack's got squatters. I don't think there's anything interesting down here. It's just, uh, just a cave system. I think he's got another portal down here. With... Oh. There's a visible... Difference? No, it's just the lighting. I thought there was a difference between, like, uh, salt water and fresh water now, or something. The greenish water tint confused me. Yeah, there's nothing to see down here. This, however, this was my doing. This, I believe, was a construct from a different world, a different creative world that I uh, ported over here. I don't think I built this guy. I think Jack might have built him. But uh, I thought that Jack would appreciate having the Frollo Battle Cathedral next to his place. So uh, this this is where I decided to park it. This was something I was very proud of. I, I found a way to, like, port it. I, I got tools to port builds from one Minecraft world to another one. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? Got an organ. You got stands for the choir. It is a full proper cathedral. Except it flies. And... It doesn't immediately look like it, but it is, in fact, heavily armed. Look, here's the steering wheel. You can fly it from here. Oh, yeah, I must have built these guys. I don't know why they're... It, they kind of look out of place if they're made out of nether brick. Oh, I had a garden on top? I don't even remember building this part. There's rafters you can walk on? There's no bell tower. It needs a bell tower. Let's fire off some of the weapons. Let's see, we got the main guns, the airship cannons. Main guns. I think they'll fire continuously, as long as that's active. No? Maybe the redstone doesn't work anymore. Maybe just too much has changed between versions. Or something's been broken. I don't know. Do they still have ammo? Let me just look down the barrel of this active gun. Yeah, they got ammo. All right, I guess the guns just don't work anymore. That's a shame. It would have just fought, uh, shot the uh, fireballs from the front. 
Let's try the cannons. Please, I hope the cannons still work. Yeah! Look at those go! Fucking battle cathedral! Can't stop now, we gotta activate all the weapons. Uh, drop the bombs! Drop all the bombs! Keep them going! And, obviously. You can't have a Frollo Cathedral without lava plumes. Absolutely necessary to have gargoyles spitting lava. Very important. I wish the guns worked. I could take the time to try to fix the guns. I could do that right now if I wanted to. I don't think I will. Let's, let's try them one more time. Maybe fire charges don't work anymore. Boy, that'd be a shame. I'm gonna spend at most, like, five minutes trying to see if I can fix the guns. Whoops. Okay, not seeing that again. I want bricks. I forget the key I need to press to it. You know what? I think it's the... Yeah, it's the center mouse is all I needed to press. Oh, that didn't work. Uh... How interior? Oh, I must have had an access point underneath. Yeah, I didn't need to break anything. So where's the guns mechanism? So obviously it's in the front. I don't know that the guns are accessible. I think they're they're too far behind the uh I don't want to mess with like the cannon. Oh, the guns are up here. Oh, okay. I changed them to not use these. I changed them to be uh Command blocks. And the command change, that's what happened. Or the name of the item. We can fix this. Oh, they're not moving though. Why can't I change them anymore? Oops! What's going on? I think I'm activating the fireballs by accident. Okay, well that's going to set the whole thing on fire. I don't know why I can't fix the fireballs, so I'm not going to worry about those. I tried. Shut it all down. I think there was one guy 
like somebody's friend who joined this world just to play. And they had like a, a little island out from uh, Jack's place with like redstone mechanisms. Maybe not. Maybe that's a different world I'm thinking of. You can tell that this was obviously transplanted because it's like a natural looking area just surrounded by super flat. So this wasn't actually built in this server. This was built in a previous one. Which, you know what? That might be one of the previous ones that we uh, still have. We may have gotten lost because Jack's mansion was so far from everything else. It's the uh, Red October, of course. What else is there? I believe... I think Road Rocket might have built a little bit in this world. It was another friend of mine that I spent a lot of time with before uh, I started hanging out with Jack. There we go. No, I don't think he... I don't think there's anything out here. I built this like I was going to start building something, uh... I was going to start building something out here. But I never got to anything other than the, uh... Other than the sewer system. So big, so empty. And the fourth area was for a friend who, again, definitely never played on the server. I would have liked her to, but... Uh, it never happened. So I just kind of... I kind of built some stuff on my own out here. Just to kind of fill out the world a little bit. I had like this little forest theme with a spire. Very similar to the uh, Mario 3 tower leading up to the sky. In fact, there's the hub station. I think around the backside here. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Up. We up. I just made it. I made a rainbow cloud house out here. Hey, that looks that looks cool from above. Again, no one lived here. No one saw it until now. You guys are the first. You like my rainbow cloud house? And then uh, our nether. This one transferred correctly. And this one was pretty fleshed out. I did a lot with the uh, nether in this area. I assume this just goes down to an ordinary... Just like nether region. Yeah, it just goes down to the normal nether. And then I had, uh, because it was creative mode, I had paths going above, to above the nether. Which, I wish I knew a more reliable way to get up here in uh, survival mode. Because you, obviously you're never supposed to be up here. But I think it's cool that you can get up here. It's like, it's like, a, like a secret meeting place. You have a path between all your friends' houses at the top of the nether. 
that no one else has access to. Just you guys. I'm pretty sure... You know what? I think this was also a... This was also a Jax build. My nether house in this world. This was when... This was when Jack complained about DC turning Harley Quinn into a whore. I'm, I'm sorry to bring that up again. He doesn't like me bringing that up. That was just... A, a long conversation at the t at the time. At this era of our making videos. Where does this go? Just... Down into a fortress? Yeah, this probably just leads to a fortress. I think we had a conversation about... Uh, how religions that, practice, that allowed for polygamy were like really on the ball because they thought about Siamese twin relationships. We had some weird discussions. It's just another nether fortress path. This is what the old nether looked like. Remember this? When everything was the same? You didn't have to worry about spawning in a red jungle and having four-legged pig monsters up your ass immediately. You know what? Maybe this was. I think this was a different. This was a different Nether Fortress. This was not the one in uh, said build. That might have been a previous world. How long? Have we? We've almost been going two hours already. I knew this world and the previous one were going to be pretty packed. I don't think the other ones will be as much. It's just the, these. These. These are kind of the big ones. Are also the ones with uh, history on the channel. What is this? This is Jack's Nether area. Yes, it is. I can tell because it's a upside down ship, which I'm pretty sure I built. I think I spent an inordinate, inordinate amount of time trying to get an un upside down ship looking right. Oh, that's right. I had like a whole fleet of nether ships. This was the nether area I built for Jack. You could like just barely parkour between them. I wish there were boats you could ride in lava. The Quasimodo creatures are neat, just not very practical. I, d I would kind of just rather have a boat. I built a lot of cool stuff back in the day. I think I can be proud of it. And then there's no, uh, there's no, no nether area. For the road rocket area, road rocket section. All right. Well, that's pretty much everything. That's definitely everything, unless we want to go down the sewer pipes. Y'all want to go down the shit pipes? I'm gonna be honest; they're not very interesting. There's glow squids now. I think I measured it, and it's barely possible to climb up that pipe and survive in uh, survival mode. It's just all like this. This is the entire sewer system. So, we've seen it. Now, I believe that was 2018. Before that, I had a single-player player world. 
this was not one that I had other people playing on. This was just something that I was playing on on my own during the time that Jack and I were in trade school. So there's not a whole lot to see here. i just do a, do a quick once around, see if I remember anything. Some cobblestone about... I had a... This must have been a farm for something. You know what I think it was? I think it was... Uh, I would lead monsters into here. And then they would get swept away. They would get swept over. And I could kill them and get their stuff. It was a very rudimentary idea to make monster killing easier by someone who didn't really know how to make a monster farm. There's a shaft for collecting stuff. I think this is all there is in this world, is just this house. Just me building a house to survive this, the single-player game. And another house, because uh, I like to have nether bases. It just it seems like a good idea. Again, before the nether patch. So, uh, everything is in the style of the old nether. I had a nether fortress. Historically, I've been pretty lucky. Lucky. I usually spawn pretty close to a nether fortress. Although, I think they made them rarer with the uh, the changes in the nether patch. This blew up. Something damaged this. I had a mine track, apparently, in the works. I wonder where it goes to. Oh, no, it, it does go. The mine track is not in the works. My track's finished. This must go to the stronghold. Man, I follow my own breadcrumbs now. I'm curious what past me has built. Now we're getting to the point of the worlds that I don't necessarily remember everything. Oh, really? All right. Am I what am I not in creative mode? Oh, I have a sword out. That's what's going on. Where are we going, mine track? Oh, all right. Hello. What's all this? How y'all doing? You having a good day? Hmm. Oh, I found a village. You know what I'll bet this is? I'll bet this is a village where uh, a villager had mending. Or something else very valuable. I'll bet that's why I, I bothered to build a, a path all the way out here. I can't think of any other reason that I would. What's this? Oh, I had I even had a normal minecart track. Yes.
I'll bet this is the mine, the kind of Minecraft mine, the kind of mine shaft that I just built along a strip mine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. This is how I would always get the uh, on a rail achievement. I would just do my normal strip mining for a thousand blocks, and I would build the uh, minecart track along that. Probably not the most efficient way to do it. Probably takes a lot less work to just build a, th a thousand block mine track above land. I don't know, I just figured I'd be going out a thousand blocks in a straight line anyway, so I might as well combine the two. Wow, we're still a thousand out from spawn. How long is this mine track? No wonder I built a nether path. That's way faster. It is, it's really going to go all the way to spawn, isn't it? You know, we can't back out now. We've got to see where this ends. Soothing mind track ASMR. Hey dudes. It's your uh it's your bro Funky Kong here. I know you've had a gnarly time in the minecart levels. They're pretty rough. I've been there. But I want you to know. I'm here for you. It's not quite out to zero. It's about out to about 200. Wait. Wait. There's a station. I built a station. There must have been something of interest in these directions. I'm going to wager a guess that one of these... But now... Nah. Now I want to see where these go. I think this one goes back to my place. It's just straight back to... Is it the same place, though? Now I don't know. Maybe, maybe the place that I started in was not my original house in this world. Maybe that was like an outpost that I built. This is the part where I suddenly remember a bunch of things that I completely forgot about. We are near spawn, though, so it can't be that much longer. It's gonna be like negative 300 zero. Or something like that. So that huge long track wasn't even the track that I used for the honor rail achievement. This direction must have been. No, it's gonna go past zero. How far are we gonna go? I'm in just as much suspense as you are now. We're apparently under the deep ocean. Now under a beach, now under a deep ocean. Why would my house be this far from spawn, I wonder? Did I walk this far looking for a cool place to build? I feel like that could be what happened.
These sure are some stairs. Boy, past me was disorganized. I think I remember. Yeah, this was, uh, you know how when you start a Minecraft file, you just build a dirt hut. This was that. I started on an island with nothing on it. And, uh, well, probably started as a dirt hut, but instead I changed it to, uh, like a tree house. I planted a bunch of trees. It's okay, you can let, here, stay in. I insist. You can, you can have this place. I don't need it anymore. So I built this little dirt hut. I immediately went mining. I must have gotten the mine track finished, and when I came out, I decided I liked that place better than where I started at, so I just abandoned the first house. I'm pretty sure that was the sequence of events. So logically, the other end of the mine, cart, mine track must be the house that I started in. I want to confirm that, but I think flying will be faster than minecarting. Granted, we don't get the soothing minecart noises. Hot take? The minecart levels in Donkey Kong Country were some of my favorites. Everyone else seems to have seems to have hated them. I loved them. Now's a good time to get a drink, go to the bathroom. I put some dopey music over this in the highlights. Okay. I had to use slab stairs. It takes even longer to ascend. Oh, there's more? There's like an upper level mine shaft. Why did I do this? Why didn't I go down to diamond level immediately? Okay, I think on the other side of this door is a monster room. Yep. There's the monster room. Nice and monstery. And this will go up to the str to the house that I started in. Here we are. Like nothing ever happened. Let's see. I think there's one more world that I have. The oldest world. Okay, let me go in here real quick. I think this was a world that I used around the same time as these. And it was just where I built stuff. I didn't do, I didn't get much. I made a water bed. Get it? And uh I attempted to make a treadmill. I just wanted to show that uh this does not in fact work. Disappointingly. For some reason, you do not get moved when the block beneath you gets moved. I wish you did. This would be a cool but stupid transportation system. That's all. That's all that's here. Alright. The oldest world that I have. And I believe this is the first one that Jack played on. I have vague recollections of one world before this one. 
that uh, I did play with Road Rocket. That one I no longer have. That one was not on any of the uh, any of the hard drives, so it is gone. Oh, I even made a little label. I should have done that for the other maps. That looks so nice. Well, you can see the mansion. So this is obviously the world that it was built in. And there's a little island behind it that someone had built, I mentioned previously. Hello, Road Rocket. Hello, Kenpachi. Boy, you're, uh, you're quite a bit taller than your friends. There's lots of sprite things about. As tends to be my obsidian citadel looks like it looks like a giant chess piece i remember i had to build the the end portal both the end portal and the nether portal way up here because the uh, the portal effects would cause lag if i was near them this was back on the old e machines Actually, I think this was on the... So back in trade school, I had a, a shitty old e-machines laptop. When that expired, I upgraded to an Asus, which was what I believe we did our Jax videos on and our streams on up until I got the tower. I'm pretty sure that just kills a random person. Wow. It even kills you in creative mode. Well, now we're inside the Citadel, so I guess that worked out. Again, still got Donkey Kong. The Citadel was a bit more united, I guess. I, I kind of tried to cram everything. Well, that's a that's a safe place to be working on an anvil. Just freestanding lava. I guess I had. Why did I? Why did I use Nether fence for this? That doesn't look good. The years that I put on the save files are just estimations. So I don't know for sure, but I think this was about uh, 2016. Oh, Carl and Steve are still here. They're not named, but they're here. This was before I discovered the value of water shafts. It was before the, the addition of uh, bubble shafts to the game. Oh, this is like another secret entrance thing. I don't remember my own machinations. Oh well. Get out of here. I'm, I'm sick of looking at this citadel. What else is around here? This, this is a lot more centralized than, uh, obviously, the spread out, attempted professional looking world that we were just in. The one with all the, the grid plots. I think this is another Cloud Rainbow house. I think that was the second time that I built such a thing. 
Only this one I didn't have a warp point. I had a ladder going all the way up to it. Imagine climbing that every time you go to your house. Probably a good thing no one actually lived here. Oh, there were weather buttons up here. Truly, whoever lived here could be as a god. I did a lot of weird stuff with command blocks. Is this just a cloud? Is there anything over here? I guess not. Yeah, it's just a cloud. Alright. That's just here, so it'll appear on the map. I remember building this thing. I don't remember how to get inside this thing. Maybe it no longer works. Maybe the uh, the teleporter. I think there was a, a, a teleporter that was supposed to drop you in. It's full of cobwebs. So the idea was that you could have like a, like a Dragon Ball Z aerial fight while slowly falling down the length of this thing. I think. Is that what this was? I don't remember. No, you know what? I think this was a... This was a gauntlet. Yeah, this was an enemy gauntlet. You would, you would go up the tower floor by floor and fight increasingly harder groups of enemies. That was the idea for this. What, what, what's this? Oh, it's another trading post. Same as the other one. I hear a lot of monsters that must be in the mechanisms for these things. There's a dedicated basketball arena. I don't believe this one changes to soccer. It's got locker rooms. Mushrooms. Good Mart. Also, probably pretty similar. Well, not exactly the same. I think this is a more basic version. I still had the escalator. I even have a shopkeeper. Tom. At customer service. Escalator. Works sometimes. Okay. Yeah, the uh, first version of the arena had very cramped hallways. It was quite a, quite a bit smaller. I, re I really stepped it up for the later versions. I think both versions of the arena had glass showing you that there was a... the underground arena below it. I think the me the general means of accessing and everything is the same. Here. Uh... Yeah, same basic thing. Just much tinier and less nice looking. Uh oh. oh that was almost bad. Oh, it's so cramped. There's not even a there's not even a, a big top top dog seat. Or guardrails. Look at this. This is dangerous as shit. Oh! 
Oh, that's something I didn't go to in the previous, uh, in the previous world. It was, uh, Escher Apartments. You know what? I'm gonna go back, because I gotta show you that before I show you this. What was this? We ca I kind of missed this entire corner. Is this just a map area? Wilds. Oh, this was how you would get to outside the borders, so that you could go to, like, the, the wildlands. Yeah, that that's the biggest map of the area. There's the center. There's, uh, my stuff, and there's the, there's the castle, way out in the corner there. Jack's Ocean, at the left. It's a weird-looking super flat world. Uh, this was what I wanted to go to. This was also part of a Jack's video. The Escher Apartments. Which is actually a series of entirely livable areas. It's just designed like, you know, the Escher stairs. This, this, see, this one's sideways. I just gotta look up this way. And it's like we're on the floor. All the Jax videos are still up. I don't recommend watching them because they're awful, but... I remember in particular this one... ...was recorded at a time when Jack was sick, and he was not happy with me for showing him such imagery while he was sick. It is technically livable. It's just weird, and sideways. It wouldn't be very convenient to live in. I will grant that. There's a way to get up to the, the top. That I don't recall, so I'm gonna cheat. There's a couple of, like, penthouse areas. Now, oh, this, this one would be a pain. I can't really turn the camera sideways, unfortunately. You just have, kind of have to use your imagination. Anyway, I made that as a more condensed version of what was these houses. Which, as you can plainly see, are exactly the same thing, but in the form of houses. And also, I don't believe these ones are livable. I think these ones are mostly decorative. I don't think I can even get in here. No, I can't, because of the way those are, uh... I guess it is technically livable. It's in no way safe, but... Yeah, there's a ladder so you can access this area. No one would ever want to live in this structure, but it is theoretically possible. I guess that's why these windows are open, so that you can get into the windows. Oh, there's a couch. This one, not so much. Oh no, there's a ladder. You could, yep, it's livable. There's a table. Wow, I did such a better job with these houses than I did with the Escher apartments. What changed? I got worse at building. Also, I don't think I built the cobwebs. But I must have. Those don't generate naturally, do they? I had a piano? Oh, 
Okay. There's Creeper Soccer. Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? There it is. What do, okay, weird place I chose for the entrance. Again. Has to be obsidian and lava and bedrock. Because it needs to be indestructible. I guess that's the uh, creeper spawning mechanism. I don't think this one has uh, automatically rest restocking goals. I think you have to manually fill them with TNT again after every goal. Okay, now I'm lost. Where's the exit? Oh, it's up here. My old builds are very cramped. They were a lot smaller than the final ones ended up being. Uh, I think there's like a spawning zone for the, this is the king of the hill again. There must be a building somewhere around here that uh, activates it. Oh yeah, it's this. There's the cow's butthole. Gotta acknowledge the cow's butthole. Is this where the farms are? Is that what I did with this again? Or is this just a big empty cow? I, got, I gotta find out. Yeah, it's still farms. Probably very similar to the one in the other world. Horse race track. Basic, and with fences. Oh! I built a castle in this world. The castle was an old build. That must have been another thing that I uh, transferred to uh, Jacksville manually. So yeah, this whole castle was here. That was an older build than I remembered. Why do I have stairs going up uh, up this high, up the mountain, to everything? I think this was a series of obstacle courses. Man, really? Yeah, I built like a like a wannabe theme park up here. There was a mushroom parkour course that I just failed. Wow, I would have been bad at my own build. I must have spent so much time on this. Well, I don't know where I was intended to go from here. But I think all of these things had, like, uh, had prizes. Again, this was one of those things where I had kind of built it with the hope of opening it up to people in the future. And if you cleared one of the things, like the obstacle courses, you would get, uh, like, a, a mending pickaxe or... A... I was dumb at the time, so a piece of bedrock for, like, a really hard game. Stuff like that. I had an early boat course. I guess I ended up remaking a lot of the stuff in this world. In uh, Jacksville. I had a... I had mine, mine cart races with a, a drop partway. That's kind of cool. I wish I did that in the later one. It's not practical. 
Oh, I did I have shortcuts? Yeah, you would hit that, you would fall down, and then you'd get a bunch of speed tracks. I had an attempt at a shortcut in a, in a minecart racetrack. This track looks way bigger than the one in the other world, too. What else? I saw the boat race. There's the mushroom course. I think... I had a regular obstacle course, too. What's this? It's a dunk tank. Except the mechanism intended to kill the villager does not appear to work anymore, so I guess he's, uh... He's just stuck there now. I had a whole, like, fake theme park out here. I had a roller coaster. I gotta ride the roller coaster. This was the obstacle course. Again, I watched a lot of Achievement Hunter Let's Play Minecraft, so this was a base this was basically my version of their wipeout video. It was just a Minecraft walking obstacle course is all it is. I guess I'm going the right way. Oh, yeah, I had ladders break in the fall. Garbage disposal. Why did I have items here? Checkpoint. You could set a spawn point for yourself. There's a lava maze. That I'm going to cheat on. This just makes the, the, the current me, old me, feel so much less creative than I once was. Okay, I'm tired of the lava maze. Where's the exit? Let me out. Oh, here it is. I guess this is the exit. Climb up the water chutes. Water chute. Yeah, a little ladder course. Which doesn't seem particularly difficult. I say. And then fall into fire. You just gotta hold up, really. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Okay, cheating. Oh, God. That was way longer than I thought it was. You'd get to the top, and then you'd have to climb back down this side. I forgot there was three legs to this. Maybe it wasn't as hard as advertised, but it was definitely pretty tedious. You have to go back and forth between the walls. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay cheating this. Upwards and onwards. It's frozen. RIP! Oh, I was giving out end portal frames. 
I was I was a generous god. Exit only. Oh, there's like a I had a bedrock maze, didn't I? I was a little bit of a sadist. Where's the entrance to the bedrock maze? I'm not going in. But I need to confirm that that was one of the uh, quote-unquote attractions. Ultra Maze of No Return. Yeah. I really did. But if they would... I guess they could starve to death if it was on a high enough difficulty. But otherwise... Wow, monsters would spawn in here because it's dark? This would be awful. Having to go through a bedrock maze... Yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's see, there was the diving board. There's a roller coaster. I think there's a, a boat, like a log flume. Yeah. Let's try out the log flume and the roller coaster. I forgot that I built all this. Oh, I bet the... I'll bet the... I'll bet the water ladders aren't going to work anymore. There's a pig in the water. I'll bet this is going to be all outdated. Yeah, this, uh, this used to work to lift boats. This sort of thing. No longer. The log flume is busted. Oh well. It was short anyway. Alright, roller coaster time. Oh, we're falling. Gotta have a good lift hill. You know, since I pulled out my old laptops, I was considering... I bet I could probably do a recorded video in Roller Coaster Factory 1. Roller Coaster Factory 2 is one of my more popular YouTube videos. I think just because no one else on YouTube has done it, or knows the game exists. But I wasn't able to get one working on uh, this computer. So I wonder if, uh, if it was on the laptop, I might be able to get it running and at least record the footage of it. I think I have all three roller coaster factories. They made three of them. I've only ever played number two. making you sick yet. It's at once nauseating and kind of soothing looking at this happen. It's better than looking down because at least you know you're moving. Yeah, that's more nauseating. Boy, I, uh, I really went all out with that tower. I don't think this was a snowy area when I built it. I'm not positive, though. I may have neglected to consider the biome when I built it, and then, uh, inevitably had trouble with the... to dive at the end of the obstacle course. This feels like something I did because I could, not because I should. 
the dropping coaster looping back and forth over itself. Also, this appears to be going the wrong way. Let's uh, reverse course. There we go. I think the uh, minecart physics changed slightly at some point in the game's release. Well, there you go. We have a direct comparison between my roller coaster and Sandy's. Granted, this one was made years before. I really bothered to build the, the spires supporting the coaster all the way up. What else is there in this world? Is there anything else? Well, yeah, there's... Uh, I need to go to Jack's area. I want to check that out. What's this out here? This is just the this is just the minecart tra uh, race track. Go! There was a little village full of houses that were empty. I don't think anyone lived in here. I just built them for, uh... So the idea between behind, like, prefab houses like this, and I had that one example house in the later world as well, was that people who later joined the server would be able to claim one of the one of the prefabs. And then not necessarily live in them, but uh, once they were theirs, they would be able to uh, like link it with a warp block or with a with a command block. So it would warp to their house out in the wilds, in the in the natural spawning area. So that they would have a quick way to and fro with the you know, the communal air area that we had built out here. Oh, I had, the, I had the warp stations in this world, too. Yeah. Wait, there's so many of them. One, two, three. Oh, there's six. I think. One, two, three. No, there's five. Okay. Well, take me back up to where I was, please. Or a bit more uh, rudimentary warp stations. This is, again, the area that I had set aside for my female friend who ended up never playing on the server. But I built some stuff out here. This village was naturally existing. This was the nearest village. And, uh... This was another thing I built. Not because there was any need for it, but just because I could. It's a sand castle. A castle made entirely out of sand, and the only reason that it's not collapsing completely in on itself is because all the hallways are filled with ladders. This had to be designed very carefully so that it would not fall apart. Thus was the challenge of building the sand castle. Also makes it very slow to traverse, though. I'm flying at maximum speed, but it's it's slowing me down because of the ladders. I now don't know how to get out. I'm in the back of the castle now. Is there a way further in? I think it's just like a spiraling series of halls. It's like a big target is the interior structure. There's a lot of annoying aspects 
to the things that I built in the past, I'm realizing. I think there might even be some redstone mechanism. I think there's a way to open that up so that you can go uh, go to a higher floor. Oh, back down again? Really? Wait, where are we going now? I'm so confused by my own designs. Oh, we're at the outside again. I'm done. I don't want to be here anymore. Where's the exit? There's spiders in here. Wait. Oh, no, that's nothing. There's like a, there's a sewer area underneath, too. <sighs> I don't want to break it, because then it's all going to come crashing down. You know what? I have a solution. Wait. Is that not right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that kind of sucked. We got an interior path here under the water. I'm trying to get to I'm trying to get to the inside because I, I feel like I remember there being more interesting parts of the castle. Here we go. There's like a there's like a courtroom. Little tables and things. So there's some interior areas. There's nothing but sand in them, but uh, you know, like a real sand castle, use your imagination. This was a this was a really needlessly complex structure for what it really was. Which what it really was was fucking nothing. Where's where's the where's the underground? The underwater access. I know there was a beneath section. I want to find that. Aha! I really liked making mazes, I guess. Boy, I, I made a lot of maze-like structures. from the outside? Okay. Well, that's that. I've seen enough of the sand castle. I'm happy to have revisited it. Let's never revisit it again. I'll go out and look at, look at uh, Jack's stuff in a second. First, I want to see if... I See, this was the server that I think Road Rocket did, in fact, participate a little bit in. I want to go out and see if he actually built anything. I'm pretty sure I dug out this canyon. So we had a boat path. There's also a, a walking path through the mountain. It was not quite to the degree of uh, Jacksville, but everyone did build pretty separately. Yeah, this was definitely his doing. I remember his rainbow lava shit bridge. 
whatever this strange structure was meant for. Oh, there's this. There's the sewer pipe. I think the sewers did exist in an early form in this world. Is there an entrance? Oh, okay. Where does this go? There's nowhere? Death is where it goes. What was he doing out here? Now, now you know what it was like to be friends with Road Rocket. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? I'm in creative mode. Bitch. There must have been a normal way to access this. I don't know that he ever built like a house or anything. He just built his weird rainbow bridge. And another portal. Is there another in this world? I'm gonna guess no. There does not appear to be another in this world. I just made a new portal. Okay. I figured. Oh, hello, what's this? This probably just goes to the sewers. pretty magical. This is what he spent his time doing instead of making, like, a home. It's just rainbows and sewage. Wait, where's this go? I, I want to go through here. I don't want to break it, though. I completely forgot about all the stuff that he had made. I'm gonna go for it. Magical. Yeah, it's just the, the sewers. Oh. Whoops. Did I not want to do that? That's just a warp. I don't remember where it goes to, though. I should probably turn that off. I feel like that would be wise. Well, I don't want to break through the 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 things, the what are they called? The the pushers. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot. I think I built this. Maybe. I think I built him a little hidden entrance. And it was very well hidden because I didn't see the button at all. You know what? Let's fix that. It's based off of... Uh the cow anus technology. Very secretive. Very advanced. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's very short-lived as well. You gotta get in there immediately. I also missed that button completely. How far do these sewers go? 
They're not as advanced as the ones in the in the later world. So I'm just curious how much of them there is. I'm pretty sure I built the path out to Jack's place. And then I may have told him that Road Rocket was the one who did it. I think that's how that went down. Actually, no, it might have been him. I don't remember. I think maybe Road Rocket built the pipe and the poop. He built the, the poop pipe, the pipe poop. And I'm the one who actually connected them because I thought it, lo it looked dumb if they weren't actually connected. What a pain this would be to traverse on foot, I say as I traverse it on foot. Yeah, we had a... You can't really use the... You can't really use the sewer system as like a means of boat travel, but we have the, had these tunnels at least we could use. What is this? This is the way to, this is the way to his place. Yeah, so we had we had a lesser version of the sewers that appeared in uh, Jacksville later. In survival mode, I in survival servers, I like digging tunnels and pathways like this. Makes me feel like John Henry. This one. This one goes to... This goes to my place. Not much of a wasteland. Kind of a misnomer. I guess I did get some snowy parts. I guess that, that's kind of waste-like. Alright. Let's go see Jack's stuff. You stupid idiot. Well, he's lasting a while. I don't think I really missed anything. I'm just taking a quick look at the map is all. Alright. Well, you can see there's Jack's pirate ship all the way out to Jack's mansion. Let's go let's go take a look. A quick look. I think it's it's pretty much the same as it was in the other world. I think the pirate ship and the mansion are both things that I, uh, I copied. Well, maybe. This is, uh, less furnished than the one in the other world. There's no bunkers. Yeah, this is, a this is a way more bare-bones pirate ship. Doesn't even have a working nether portal anymore. However, you absolutely... Cannot have a pirate ship without a cannon. I don't think the cannon on this one works anymore. Let's try one more time. I want, I want to give that another go. I can't... I don't think it's firing anything. Darn. The technology's outdated. Well, it used to work, as you can tell by the state of that giant villager's groin. It used to be a very effective cannon. Huh. Oh. Jack complained that you couldn't see Kenpachi very well, so we had to make a viewing platform.
There you go. Now you can get a nice good look at him. There's our boy. It's really not that far out compared to the other version. So Jack made the ship. I made Kenpachi as a gift for him. Then he made this sword. Sorry, I should read the sign. I should call it by its proper name. Giant Sword Monument. Okay, that was close. And then he made all his mansion and all this stuff out here. Again. Just nabbed, just chopped out, and moved to the new world. What's this underwater tunnel? You just had a glass tunnel? Did you make him in survival? No. Kenpachi was made in creative. Where's this tunnel go? I'm curious now. Oh, this is a minecart thing. Well, I don't think... I don't think I built any minecart stuff in this world. Did I? Maybe I did. It must have. I don't think anyone else would have. Jack definitely wouldn't have. Once again, we find ourselves flying down a mine shaft. A minecart track with no sense of direction, no idea where it's going. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I completely forgot that I had, I guess, a minecart station. Oh! Because it was under the warp stations. Wow, that's uh, well hidden. Pixel art. It's just, it's copied from a, from a game. It's his uh, DS game sprite. Yeah, I completely forgot. So, in addition to the, the warp stations, I had uh, minecart stations under here. This is a little more a little more complicated, but I'm down for some I'm down for some minecarts. I like riding minecarts. Let's see. We want to go to Jack, so we want right right. Here we go. Oh, that's how I did it. So either this was before they made it so that minecarts could be, uh, so that you could change the direction of curved tracks with redstone. I think it was before that change. So instead, in order to change the places the tracks went, I had to use, uh, pistons. Sticky pistons that would, uh, physically stop the minecart, the minecart from falling in a certain place. I was committed to making working minecart systems. That's always been one of the fun parts of Minecraft for me. It can be very re resource intensive, unless you're in creative mode, which I clearly was, given that I made this entirely out of powered rails. Alright. Yeah, this just connects all of the, all the warp stations. Or these structures, anyway. I think the, the warp stations are, like, way underground beneath them. Is this version of Jack's mansion any different? He has his waterfall up top. I remember he was proud of that at the time that he built it. It has the lock system. Fuck, I don't remember the pin. Uh... 
Alright, we're busting in. It, do, it does work with the correct pin. You have, if you press four of the buttons in a certain order, it's timed such that the, that the redstone will open the door. That was a gift from me to him to prevent uh, further road rocket shenanigans such as the uh, the sewage pipe. He didn't want any more sewage. Oh, there's the water bed. I guess I gave him a water bed before I, I uh, he decided he'd rather have a giant normal bed. Is there a current Minecraft server up? There is not. The most recent server we had was... Uh, what was it? It was the one in the Caves and Cliffs update. Which, as happens, people played on for a little while, then everyone just kind of stopped playing on it. So, uh, after, you know, a month or two of no one signing in, I, I stopped hosting it. Whatever, Desu. I think that was the person's name. I think it was like a friend of a co or a co-worker Jack had that just wanted to be on the server. Oh, Skype. Remember Skype? I remember Skype. Oh, yeah. He had a he had a forever daytime machine. What is with all these torches? What is this? Is like a mini warp station? Yeah, he liked to... Whoever this was, this friend of Jack's, he liked to build uh, redstone mechanisms. And he had a, da a overly complicated daylight machine. I think he had some farming things going on. Stuff that ultimately lagged the server, so... Uh, I guess that's that. Uh, the battle... I guess the battle cathedral wasn't in this one. Or, you know what? I think... We have no way of accessing it. But, uh... We had some outposts. We had, like, a... We had a nether path going out to, uh... Jack and I had outposts. And that's where the Battle Cathedral was. That's where it was originally built. It was some thousands of blocks out in some direction. But now, since the Nether did not copy correctly, we have no way of going to it. So, uh, I guess that's that. What is that? That sweet flying speed. Oh, I think, uh... Oh, it's the, it's the text that shows up on the map. Is what the higher part of it is. This here, I remember we talked about in the Jack's video. I don't know why Jack decided to build a giant pillar of wood with a weird dirt diving board on it. Is that what that is? I don't know. I really should have done that text on, on other maps. All right, well that's all of the all of the Minecraft servers of ours that I still have. I, I again I have vague memories of one older than that, but there's no way to access it. I, it it must have been deleted. As one final bonus, I'm gonna visit Sandy's world that I've not been in. If I remember correctly, Sandy sent this to me because it was like something him and Trog and I think Panda and some of their friends had played on in the past. I don't know if he wanted me to host it or if he wanted me to get some buildings off of it. Neither of those things happened, but I do have the world, so uh, just like as a little bonus aside, I'm going to walk around here briefly, see what it was. Maybe Sandy will have some nice memories. It's an island. Is that is this a naturally spawning island? That's a weird seed. 
That's like an Animal Crossing island. That's perfectly square. Well, it looks nice. This already puts my builds to shame. It, they even got a refrigerator. That doesn't stay open. You got stuff. Deck yourself out with. He's got a wolf. It's wolves that have been sitting here alone in the dark for who knows how many years. Look at how sad it looks. Aw. Be free. I can't. I can't free them. I'm not their master. There is one way that I can free them. Your pain is about to be over, dog friends. They're in a better place now. What happened to this house? This building? Ugh. It's like the it's like the mushrooms I built, but it like abandoned for decades. Man, every time I got to do this. I don't know who that is. That pixel art. There is a lot of pixel art about. There's a Pilgrim Crash. There's Nibs. There's Agumon. Sylveon. Uh, some manner of frog thing. Donkey Kong and Ridley. Sans Undertale. And then Mario and Luigi. Oh, there's Nibs again. What is this? And a Sandy with a backwards N. It's so pink and fabulous. Beyond the walls lies the dreams of a majestic dragon. With milk and cookies for Santa. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. It's got ornaments. This must have been around Christmas time. That it was last used. You probably flew to here, you scum Lone Star. I get, I, oh, it's a it's like a like an emote. I do play Lone Star. Apple. A lot of a lot of Spyro around these parts. Sorry, Nibs. Is it? It's like a giant Spyro. He's got in a cage. Well, you know what? I'm going to end your suffering. You don't need to be trapped here any longer, dragon friend. Trapped in a world without time, without age. doesn't have to be this way. Be free. He's in a better place now. What is this? There's just like a piece missing. I don't like it. There we go. This is a weird, just wonderland checkerboard path.
down to a cave system. There's a lot of underground areas, except they don't really look like underground areas. He did a good job making it look pretty. It's like a, like, biodome. It looks so livable down here. Oh, there's more. There's a secret area. There's a secret chest with a secret book. Should I read this? Okay. Thank you for the thank you for the fortune cookie advice. I appreciate it. I feel better now living my life. Oh. There's just a little dragon fountain. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a lot of lore that I'm not aware of. But regardless, it's a very nice looking series of rooms. Very nice looking construction. The lore dragons, that's correct. There's lava dripping. Red Hall. Oh, this this was the Spyro room, I guess. Must have taken forever to clear this place out. Now, is this this was this was creative mode. Look at all this C Prism Stone. It's obvious obviously creative mode. And the purr purr. The purr purr, the purr purr. One of my favorite building blocks is the purr purr pillar. Ooh, there's mine, mine tracks that, oh, no, never mind. It's just decorative. It's supposed to be like binding the wood. I'll bet there's a roller coaster somewhere in this world. We gotta end this with a, with a final roller coaster. We gotta. Oh, hello, that's a lot of vines. I don't think it looked... It probably didn't look like this the last time this world was played in. I'll bet there were vines planted up at the top of this bridge and they just grew all the way down on their own. It's a neat looking bridge. It's a neat looking uh, chasm in general. This is, a, this is a cool seed. It's like a little... Uh, a ravine village. That doesn't look like a natural tree, so that's a constructed tree. Look at this. There's so much of it. There's so many houses, so many buildings, so many destroyed buildings that I guess is an intentional part of the aesthetic. There's a well. There's a secret in the well. Is the secret death? Oh, okay. He's like he's like me. He made obstacle courses, or someone did. I don't know who all played on the server with Sandy. Yeah, it's a uh, parkour, hardcore parkour. There have been a Minecraft adventure adventure maps that have been pretty good. I remember the uh, one of the ones I saw Achievement Hunter do that looked interesting was uh, Zelda. I bet that was supposed to like open something. Was it this? I bet this opened. Hello, dogs. That's a lot of stuff. Expertise 101. 
I don't want to read too much because I don't know how much uh, how much of the server Sandy wanted me poking around. So I'm just gonna look at surface level stuff. It's neat so far. I don't think I have the patience for an entire well dungeon. Zelda taught me not to mess with well dungeons. Usually ends poorly. I wonder if there were villagers living here. There's a little fox fella. We found that uh, in some of the other, the old servers... Areas that previously had villagers no longer had them, so they didn't necessarily uh, carry over when the world was updated to the latest version. Water bottle. Ooh, what's this? It's a glass path. You got a roller coaster in there? I think I found the roller coaster. Where's the button? Alright, no button. That's fine. I'll make my own. Let's do it. Do it. Do it! Yeah! Oh, wait, no, get off! It's just a rainbow area. That was a terrible roller coaster. That didn't go anywhere. Okay, see you later, Charles. Eight. But you know it would be a dick move to just have one of these missing the glass. You just wait for someone to accidentally step on that tile without noticing. It'd be re it's really easy to miss. You walk around. It's really... It'd be very easy to walk on that tile. Just saying. It's a good way to mess with someone. I guess it's just, uh, just an unfinished sky house. You know, I don't think monsters spawn on glass, because it's not considered a solid block. I think it's also hard to have, you have to have, like, uh, beds on something other than glass, because you won't spawn on it, because it's not considered a solid block. It's cool though. I should I should build a I should build a glass floored building next time I, I play something in Minecraft. Let me see if there's anything else of interest in this world before I stop. There's a lava mountain. Lava mountains are cool. There's the sandy entrance that we entered. I wonder if this is like a custom generation setting, if there's like a mod for this. Because this looks too, this looks too cool to be the vanilla game from this time. And I'm sure, I know there are world generation mods that exist. Someone uh, bricked in the path of the lava with obsidian. 
Someone had something going on here. There's a bed. And an ender chest. You just swim around in the lava. Look at all the diamond. Okay. So, I do Either someone placed all this here in creative mode, or this is a, a very specific type of, uh, like, spawn, a world spawn mod. What is this? Nothing. It just gets a tunnel that goes nowhere. Alright. Well, darn. It's a cool start for a world, whatever someone was going to do in here. They have a volcano to themselves. It'd be an awesome place for a base. Until you fall in the lava and lose everything, obviously. But, uh, outside that... Is there anything over here? There's like a big flatland. I think that's just ordinary, uh... That's just world over there. Is that the glass floor thing? Or is that something new? I think that's the glass floor building. But hello. That's new. I, I didn't look in the direction of the cherry tree. Is that a tower of pimps? Almost no. It's the, never mind. It's the it's the big number eight. Yeah, this is the this is the glass structure. I wonder what mod made that. That's nice. I'd like a cherry tree in my world. But what's it actually made of? Is it made of purr purr? It's made of pink wool. Okay. I guess that's the best you could do for a cherry tree. Looks nice, though. That's a nice-looking mod tree. And with that, I think it's a good place to stop. Alright, well, that was a... That was a longer-than-intended, but uh, still pretty chill stream. We gotta go through uh, several years... About half a decade of Minecraft servers, plus Sandy's, as a little bonus aside. It was neat to see. I, I, I rem had a lot of memories of things. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you probably next weekend.